though, man. We got the good brother on the line, man. He's going to be battling Saint April 15th on LA Battlegrounds LAB3. Y'all already done seen him against Ron Compton, man, on the King of the Dot page, man. Y'all go check that out, man. Show some love. Got the King. He act the rip on the line, man. What's going on, King? Man, you already know the R.I.P. and get it together. Or I'm on R.I.P. I had to hit him with the slogan one more time, make it official. But, yeah, man, I'm just chilling, man. Shit, driving uh-huh. on, the 90, on the 91 right now, pushing a big rig on the 91 right now. You know what I'm saying? Shit, chopping up with y'all good fellas. What's, what's, what's happening, though? Man, you know, it's all good, man. I bet, man, I got to get right to it, bro. You be having me in tears, bro, with the little memes and little pictures you be creating, bro. I be dying, bro. I swear I be in tears, bro. I be like, damn, this nigga is sick with it, especially how you been doing Saint, man. I'm like, oh, y'all go ahead. <laughs> That Cynthia doll one, bro. That 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 took the cake, bro. I was like, yeah, this is the wigging right now, bro. Yeah, man. <laughs> hey, man. Hey, man. Shout out to my niggas, um, Bobby Lee, and my nigga Diesel, man. This barcode, man, aka troll code. Like that's what we do, man. We just troll niggas. Like I learned from them niggas. You know what I'm saying? So I I just became a king at this shit. You know what I'm saying? I got I gotta talk shit. And make the battle, like, make the shit worth watching. Because a lot of these motherfuckers don't sell their battles. You just see a card, and you see this person versus that person. Motherfuckers ain't got no history. You don't see no vlogs. You don't see no talking right. shit back and forth online. You don't see none of that right. shit. So I'm saying, right. I'm not blogging and shit, but at least at least I'm talking my shit online. And plus, like, I, I need my opponents to talk shit so it can make me want to write some cold shit for you. You know what I'm saying? Like, when my opponent is quiet... That's like it, it just makes the shit boring and like I ain't I be like God damn nigga say something nigga say something like, yeah that's like, a fact the saint, the saint Saint be quiet as a motherfucker Saint don't never talk shit none of that shit I'm like nah nigga you gotta say something bro I gotta make you say something my nigga fuck that nigga. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That's all I do. Nah, for real. Hey, real talk. I was looking at the card and I'm like, yeah, that look like a cool little battle, man. I'm gonna be ready to check that out. And then when I started seeing y'all go in, I was like, oh yeah, I definitely gotta see this one, bro. Like oh, that yeah. trash talk, man. That's sense. That, that's what battle rap was about, man. Way back, man. Like you remember when we had the Midwest movement and they was going at everybody from the East Coast and they was talking real reckless. They was like, fuck y'all, we out here. What's good? And they be doing right, vlogs, right. all type of shit, promoting it, man, and it made the battle. Man, listen, I was in anticipation I was, I was that like, much better. Right, I was like, man, when they first gave me saying, I'm like, damn, well, I got. They gave me the little young homie, like whoopie whoop. But then this nigga just got on his like, I ain't gonna lie, the boy's on his high horse, so it's like, I'm about to humble him a little bit. That's all. I I gotta humble the kid. I got to. I'm sorry, like I'm gonna show y'all what it is. Mm. Like everybody, like I feel like mm. everybody's blind here. I feel like everybody's blinded right now. Like I'm not gonna lie to you. He had he had one good round and everybody blinded. And guess what? I'm gonna I'm gonna let I'm gonna talk to y'all. Y'all gonna find out. Y'all gonna know. Mm. Y'all gonna understand. So so, so let, let me ask you something, man. When it comes to I'm when ta- it comes I'm, to saying, man, I'm taking a blindfold off. I'm taking a blindfold off. All you niggas' eyes. Talk that Thanks. shit. That's what I'm talking about. But I wanted to ask you, man. Like, what is it about Saint, man, that just makes you feel like? Man, this dude just don't understand what he about to be in for. Like, like, what is it about him? Is it just because he on that high horse, like you said, you know, he feeling himself off the battle, or is it something with his style that you feel like you can attack? I'm just, I'm a grown ass man. Like, you feel me? Like, Uh like I said, I'm, I'm on a 91. I'm, I'm pushing, I'm pushing a big rig on a 91 right now. You feel me? That's what I do. I drive trucks all day, every day. You feel me? When I be trolling niggas, I be trolling niggas from behind the wheel of my motherfucking big rig. You know what I'm saying? This is what I do. I ride my bars from behind my wheel. I drive this motherfucker all day, 24-7. You know what I'm saying? Go home, take care of my kids. I'm a grown-ass man. Feel me? Saint a little boy. Like, Good job. There's nothing he can do with me. Nothing he can do with me. He won't win a fucking round. Like, I'm a grown-ass man. I'm going to talk to this kid. Like, y'all see what Gigi did to the nigga? Like, nigga, watch what I'm supposed to do. Man, come on, bro. Uh. This nigga lost to Fiji Osa, bro. Like, what the fuck? Oh, shit. Damn. What the fuck, my nigga? Come on, yeah, nigga. He, yeah. there's, no, there's nothing he could do to me. Nothing he could do to me in that ring at all. I hope you hear this shit, cause I want I want the best Saint. I've never seen Saint come with three complete rounds. This nigga, this nigga, this nigga mm. brought a mixtape. This nigga brought a mixtape verse to Gucci Gotti. You know what I'm saying? Like nigga, mm. I, I want to hear three complete rounds from Saint, cause everybody got this nigga on a pedestal. 
but off of potential. You got great potential. I give you that. You know what I'm saying? Potential ain't shit, my nigga, if you don't do nothing with it. Whoa. You feel me? Hold on, so, like, hold on. So, so you were saying Car- he had a mixtape version of it? Carmelo ain't never won a ring. Potential ain't shit if you don't do nothing with it. Mmm. Facts. I heard. Greg, 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 I heard Odin, that, but... Odin, Derek Rose, you know what I'm saying? Brandon Roy, potential ain't shit if you don't do nothing with it. I'm about to injure this little kid. He gonna be out the game like Brandon Roy. Mm. Okay, okay. But I'm saying, you say you, you, you talking about the mixtape, man. Was he pull, Did he pull a Rex in that battle, man? Or my was nigga, it just that, how his flow nigga, is? That, that, that second round didn't have no. Cut off. Uh oh. Yeah, I'm still here. I'm trying to see if he's still on. Uh oh. I think he he died. No, don't do that, bro. Smack call, smack, smack, smack call, smack call time on him, man. Nunu calling time, bro. Mm hmm. You put your hand on that wheel. Hey yo, have you did you watch the battle with Yak and uh Ryan? Mm-hmm. What yes, what I you did. thinking, man? I mean, do you do you, do you think this is gonna be a dirty thirty? I mean what, what what's what's your opinion, bro? Um I can understand when he said about, you know, the mixtape verse because it sounded like he was like rapping there for a minute. Like for the second round and third round, it wasn't like his first round. His flow switched up like he was rapping, like on a beat. So I I can understand what he's talking about right there, but I I don't know. I might give him two two one. I don't know about three zero. Because low key Saint almost got round one. Almost. You can debate. It never brought two good rounds. He's only good for one good round. Yeah, exactly. I thought that's what I said. So I, I, I accept that. I accept that. I'm a dirty thirty him though, but I accept that. Hey, I'm from the Okay. Show okay. <laughs> I never had this I much heard, time to sit on an opponent. Like I ain't never had like the Ron. All that Ron shit I had, my nigga. I wrote that shit in two weeks. Two weeks, feel me? Mm. I've been, nigga, I got like a round and a half of Saint right now. I've been sitting on this shit. This shit is already memorized. I've been sitting on this shit for like, probably like two months now. You know what I'm saying? I still got till April. Like, I ain't, I'm going to be over prepared. I ain't never been prepared so much for a battle. You know what I'm saying? Like, and I've never battled nobody. You must want to kill this man, huh? I never, I never battled somebody, my nigga, like. I've seen so much. Is the, the disrespect? Take my three mm. rounds against Ron Compton, and put them against his three rounds. Like, and y'all think, and, and like the motherfuckers that say he gonna win. Like, I've been, I've been telling everybody to say he gonna win. I'm like, put your money up. Ain't nobody trying to bet me though. Like, y'all got him winning. Put your money up. You so confident, nigga. Put your money up, my nigga. Like, <laughs> come on, my nigga. You so confident. Put your money up. I promise you, nigga. The shit I got is fucking. Man, that's all I gotta say. <laughs> nah, I nah, say. nah, nah, I, de- nah, I definitely know what you're talking about, man. I, de- I definitely see what you're talking about. And yeah, yo, Fire versus Ryan, man, you know, I think where everybody going off of is that first round versus Geechee. They thinking if he come with three rounds like that, y'all could have a nice little, you know, classic debatable, man, or something like that on the uh, LA Battlegrounds, man. So, you know what I'm saying? Y'all gonna have a. Y'all gonna have a nice little be, battle out hey, there, man. He be, he he gonna be nice, but at the end of the day, I got too I've seen too much in this world. You know what I'm saying? I'm grown, grown ass man. Mm. What you about to talk to him, bro? Gonna you better to give him that grown I'm man gonna, talk, I'm man. Gonna, I'm gonna out punch him for one. Like I'm I'm a punch. I, I punch. That's what I Damn. do. But I'm gonna I'm gonna talk to him. I'm gonna talk to him in punchline format. You know what I'm saying? He said he's gonna sugar white sugar Ray Leonard his ass. Facts. <laughs> yes, yeah, it's, it's gonna be it's gonna be an interesting battle. But I wanted to ask like, you, because I know niggas, you niggas, saying niggas, niggas love niggas love my Ron like my first round against Ron or I guess that I think my, they say my first round was their favorite round. If niggas love that round, my nigga. Wait till y'all pick this first round for Saint. Hey, somebody need to somebody need to tag Saint and tell him to come fight back. 
Yeah, yeah, where you at? Like, he never fights back, man. I feel, he never fights back. He never fights back right now. Yeah, look, I, never, I'm, I'm, I'm already, already, hey, look, 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 I'm already in the process of hitting the brother hey, right now. Like, man, it's time for you to fight back, brother. I be fucking up on Facebook. I be fucking up on Facebook. I be fucking up on the radio. Is kill, yep, Yak is killing them on Facebook and the radio on on live stream. That's that. That's damn. That's bad, bro. I'm high, hold on, I want to, I want to hear. But hold on, I want to hear this though, man. What's your hit list looking like, man? Because I seen you say that you would cook, twerk, you would kill Jack. Like, what's man, your hit list R- looking R- like right R- now, man? Listen, Jack Boy Main, bro. I want that nigga first. I want that nigga first because he likes the, the little man. So I'm gonna kill him. You know what I'm saying? Then I want twerk because twerk. Everybody, like, when I when I had that bar, my nigga, I had the same exact bar as him when my PG came out. His PG dropped the next fucking day from mine. You know what I'm saying? Like, they did they did me dirty, but it is what it is. My West Coast PG dropped the next motherfucking day. They dropped the main nigga that everybody waiting to see twerk. You know what I'm saying? This nigga had the same motherfucking bar as me. You know what I'm saying? Um, what, um, the, um, what I say, um, the, um, the problem on your hand shit. You got to, what I say, something about a, um, a math test, something about you got, you got a motherfucking problem on your hands. You know what I'm saying? He, we said we said the shit verbatim, the, verbatim. You know what I'm saying? My shit had way more performance. Mm. You know, he a performance nigga. My shit ain't it? My shit hit harder with the crowd and all that. But if you look at the comments, like everybody, like, oh, Yak stole that. Yak went to the East Coast and um, he seen him do that shit first, and then he came back and I'm like, what the fuck type shit is this, my nigga? Like, I just want to kill him off that. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I want to kill him off that. You know what I'm saying? But I want to kill Jack Boy because Jack Boy. The nigga disrespected the West Coast. You feel me? Steams disrespected mm. the West Coast too. But Steams at a higher level. Mm. Right? He just beat Danny. He just beat Danny Meyer. So it's like he ain't I no high. No, can't. he ain't no high level. Steams is not on, high level. You really hold on. You really like, believe right that he beat like Danny? Right Listen, that's what everybody's saying. The the, the, the consistency no, of the East Coast, don't though, you already that. know they they said don't the same thing that. about him versus Rex. And when you seen the footage, Danny was smoking Rex. Yeah, he, he destroyed Rex. But at the end of the day, right. it's like. If, if I want the battle Steams right now, I couldn't get him. Jack Boy, he's still at a PG level. I feel like I can get him still. I got a PG. You got, like, two PGs, my nigga. It is what it is. Like, nigga, set that up. You feel me? Like, I want to kill that nigga, man. I think he can still get Steams. I want to kill that nigga, too, because that, that nigga definitely, that nigga said, fuck the West. Like, nigga, on camera, like, you got to get that. You feel me? You got to get that. Yeah, I definitely Everybody, think that you would smoke. I, I, I think Stans would be easy it. work, though, for real. I think the only person who would probably yeah. give a good battle to be real would probably be somebody like Ryder, maybe Tread, right, somebody right. like that. I like. Ride a fire, trash fire, trash dangerous because he fuck with the um goddamn rebuttals. That's dangerous as fuck. Like, I really want to get them DMV niggas, though, because them the niggas on the rise right now. You know what I'm saying? There's a couple niggas like who else? I went I battled on the trap like at the end of um was it November twenty fifteen? I went to um the trap NY and I had a battle against a dude named Daddy Mason. And um the niggas who hosted the battle was um Jay Murder, Betty, and some other nigga. They um they, they, they introduced the battle or whatnot, you feel me? The whole time I didn't notice this shit while I was rapping, 'cause I'm just, I'm in rap mode, feel me? When the footage came out, though, the whole time, my nigga, like, Jay Murder and Fetty, they faces, bro, them niggas was hating, nigga. Oh, my God. Like, I want to kill both of them niggas, too. Like, <laughs> I want to kill them niggas, too, because the niggas was hating. Mm. Like, soon yeah, the man. I... From LA, soon, soon as the nigga said he from L.A., like, it was just instant hate. Like, we not going to fuck with you. Like, I had to fight for that crowd. Like, my first round, nigga, they wasn't fucking with it at all. Second round, they start fucking with me. By the third round, they start they really fuck with they fuck with every bar by then. But nigga had to fight for that shit. Yeah, see, that's, that's my thing with the East, man. Every y'all go out there, man. It's always like that. But see, my thing is like, I think that they get on Danny because Danny has like the shit with Rex, the whole twelve k situation. You know, what I'm saying he has other businesses out there. But I feel like dudes like you, Geechee, you know what I'm saying, Dre Vicious, is like, y'all could go out there, man, just cook. You know what I'm saying? Because it's like, you can't really say nothing to us out there. Like, for real, like, you just got to go ahead and have your rounds, you know, for us. And then it's, you know, it's good. Like, I feel like y'all would do do work over there on that platform. I mean, are you trying to get back on URL or are you just saying, fuck it, I'll take the battles wherever they come? No, I'm definitely trying to get back on URL. Like, 
they actually um my nigga KG the poet tried to set me up a plate. I might as well say it because the nigga ain't gonna fucking battle me. He tried to set me up against Cali Smooth, but Cali Smooth ain't gonna battle me. He scared. Mm. <laughs> he said he's scared. Me and Cali Smooth. I mean, I mean, I mean, I mean, has he? Like, I mean, yeah, has he the, resurfaced the, the whole, since whole, that strict battle? I ain't gonna lie. Me and Cali, we we got like history. The whole ether, like the whole ether shit. The shit, nigga, Cassidy would have never came to Los Angeles if it wasn't for Yak the Ripper. A lot of niggas don't know that. You know what I'm saying? If it wasn't for Yak the Ripper and Cali Smooth was there, so he was a part of it too. Like, if it wasn't for us, like, the shit would have never happened. But he ended up fucking the whole situation up. You know what I'm saying? So I got a lot of shit to say to this nigga. He ain't, he would never battle. Hmm. He would never battle okay, me. I mean, he, fucked, he, 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 he fucked that whole situation up. He would never battle me. Like, you know what I'm saying? I was never on the Ether card. It's a lot of shit niggas don't even know, like, about my career, my nigga. Like, nigga, I, I'm the man behind a lot of shit, bro. Like, even though, like, I try to, I, I battle rap my nigga, but I, 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 my, my, I enjoy putting other niggas on for my coach. You feel me? I enjoy putting niggas in, in, in a better position. Like, if I fuck with you, if I know you nice, my nigga, I'm going to put you on. You feel me? Like, ouch. I put a lot of niggas on, bro. Like, not to toot my own horn, but real shit. Like, I ain't going to lie to you. I put a lot of niggas in good positions on the West Coast. A lot of niggas. I mean, so are you more so, like, would you think of yourself, like, being, like, a league owner one day or somebody like that behind the scenes? Or is, like, battle rap, like, just being a battle rapper what you really want to do the most? I want it. I, I I had like for a minute I thought about like you know what I'm saying like when the when the ether situation came when the whole little um billionaire situation came like I was like damn at first I didn't believe it at first I'm like a billionaire okay isn't it uh, whatever but when when the shit turns out to be real I'm like okay a nigga could fuck around and make his own league or whatever but then the shit ended up getting fucked up and it got in the white man hands when they got in the white man hands you know what I'm saying everything got fucked up you feel me so. I'm like, fuck battle, fuck a league, you know what I'm saying? Like, I got other shit. Like, I battle rap, I ain't gonna lie to you. Like, I would love to be on URL. I love to be one of the, like, lead niggas on the West Coast, you know what I'm saying? Lead niggas West Coast shit. But honestly, like, I don't really give a fuck, you know what I'm saying? I do this shit for fun, you feel me? Like, I, I don't do this shit for free, you know what I'm saying? I want to get paid for it at the end of the day, but I still do it for fun. Like, I'm not no diva. I take whoever. You know what I'm saying? As long as you give me whatever compensation, you know what I'm saying? I'm not even, I don't even ask for a whole bunch of money because I make good money. You know what I'm saying? I just do this shit for fun, really. Like, I got, my aspirations is, is way bigger than this shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, I get, I make money, I make more money than some of these, what, top tier niggas. They, these niggas getting one battle, like, I ain't worried about that. I get that in a couple weeks. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I definitely heard that. I definitely heard that. So I'm I'm trying to figure out, man, because I can see you. I know Ratchet. He been talking about you know getting a battle in, man. You know he been he been active. You know talking about trying to get a battle with you, get a battle with Geechee. I mean, are any of these dudes out here on the West on your radar right now? Honestly, not really, man. Like I'm. I, if I feel like you nice, if I feel like you nice and you an up and comer and you nice, you know what I'm saying, I'll take you. Like, I'm the first nigga that took Geechee. You know what I'm saying? Geechee, Geechee fucking smoked me. The nigga been going crazy ever since. You know what I'm saying? Nigga been going crazy ever since he battled me. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm taking Saint. I took Ron. You know what I'm saying? Like, I be, I'm not, like, a lot of other niggas be on a high horse. They be like, they ask for like a whole like a, a, a certain lump sum of money before they battle nigga, or sometimes they be like, well, I don't want to battle you at all." You know what I'm saying? But me, like I do it. Like it is what it is. Like I feel like I'm one of them niggas on the West Coast that got a reputable name. You know what I'm saying? So like if you battle me, like you getting somewhat of a, you know what I'm saying? It's sort of, it's sort of what a, somewhat of a good look, especially if you beat me. Like nigga, you beat Yak the Ripper. He, I'm from Barcode. My squad got a name. You know what I'm saying? You be this Barcode nigga. It's like, nigga, you getting stars. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> I got to ask this, man, because it was up in the group heavier one time, man. 
Would you ever battle the dude Colombo Black Man, or is that just something that you just would never even? <laughs> just if you would hey, never man, even I, think I, about that. I don't, man, Colombo gotta pay me. I'm sorry. I don't think Colombo's nice at all. I'm just I'm just being honest. Like oh shit. Ratchet, like I, Ratchet, Ratchet, decent. I think Ratchet got a future. You know what I'm saying? I battle him. I think he needs to battle a couple other niggas first, though. He don't want to like you only you ain't really had no you ain't stepped in front of nobody good really yet. You know what I'm saying? Like nigga, you don't want to just jump in the ring with me yet. You know what I'm saying? He needs to get like two kills against some reputable names first before he try, try to battle me because he don't want to get smoked early by me. You know what I'm saying? Colombo, I don't want to battle him at all. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, I'm shit. sorry, I don't. I just want to throw that nigga life away. <laughs> <laughs> so hold on, man. Who 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 would you who would you say who would you say is superior with the trolling though? Because he do be going in, you know, that to you know, know little memes oh, and whatnot. God. This nigga ain't he ain't even he don't even. Re- oh, hello. Yeah. 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 Yeah, they say this nigga the troll king. Motherfucker don't even want to respond to me. I'm like, oh hell nah. Then he was, the homie Bobby Bobby Lee, the real troll king, was fucking him up. This nigga blocked him. Like nigga, how you a real troll nigga? You blocking other nigga trying to troll you, nigga. And then you that, only reason I start trolling the nigga that day though, cause like he was attacking ass, my nigga. She a female. And then not only him, it was like him and like three other niggas. They was all attacking Ash Cash. So I'm like, fuck that. Let me start trolling this nigga. And he never said nothing back. I'm like, oh, this nigga's pussy. Okay. Man, okay, yeah. That, that Ash Cash situation, man. See, <laughs> see I, I was figuring eventually it would probably come up because I had posted it in pretty much every group. My bad was that I had worded it wrong in the description. I had the title right. But the description, I use a different word. So I was like, okay, cool. They was going in. And then I was looking at the post. I'm like, this dude really getting cut right now. Like, everybody trying to get up in on this. Like, that's crazy. I said, okay. They was fu- they then was when I seen that y'all two was going in, I was like, damn. I've been trolling that nigga for a minute, though. Ever since, like, the homie Diesel started trolling that nigga. It's just, it's just a fun. Th- we just pick on niggas, man. That's what we do. We internet bullies, my nigga. Like, <laughs> It's all it's all in it's all in love though, like it's all in fun. You know what I'm saying? It ain't no no real life hatred. Right, like, I heard that. I heard that. I even I, I, I dap these niggas, I dap dap these niggas up when I see them in person and all that shit. You know what I'm saying? Smoke a blunt with them. But when I'm, when I'm online, nigga, I'm about to throw your life away. <laughs> I heard that. I heard that. So hold on, you speaking Columbo, about the trolling, Columbo, man? Columbo, what's your Colombo easy target, man? Colombo just an easy target, man. <laughs> okay, okay. What, what's your opinion? Because I know we there. See, Battle Rat seems to have a lot of dudes that get in the groups, and they just be trolling a lot, man. What's your What's your take on homie that be up in like the angry fan, the unbiased, the dude uh, Omar, the dude to be trolling, man? Do you think he's up there with y'all as far as the trolling stuff, or? I think and uh, hey, nah, that nigga God tier because that nigga he 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 used to do some, some a lot of shit. I ain't gonna lie, his trolling is crazy. That nigga was doing that shit before us though. Okay, okay. heard that. Yeah, I was yeah, talking my... with <laughs> one of the homies, man, because I remember watching a battle that you had versus the homie uh, Jay Burner a while back. And I remember oh, cracking up because I remember. Yeah, I, oh, you know I was on that. I watch every, anything battle rap man that come from the West, bro. I'm on. It. I don't care what it is. I'm on it. But I remember That's watching that, and you know I remember seeing the comments, and I've ever seen people was flaming them, and I'm like, man, like y'all ain't giving them a round. Y'all not giving them. He just got cooked. He got body like that. I mean, was I that I like smoked. a battle that I you wanted I... to take, or was that kind of like giving a shot? I was just I was just giving a shot again. Nah, really, nah, honestly, like, all right, I just came off the Geechee Dottie battle, like, you know what I'm saying? I lost that battle, you know what I'm saying? Like, I choked and all that shit, like, niggas, like, I, I mix, I, I, I never did, like, I ain't, this some shit I never did before, because I was fucking up, like, before, prior to that, like, I was, like, in my head, like, I was going through some shit, plus I was, like, fuck battle rap for a minute, but niggas was booking me, and I was still taking them, 
you know what I'm saying? Then when the Gigi Gotti battle came, it was a little money move too, so I took it, you know what I'm saying? I didn't even watch no footage on this nigga. I didn't know who he was. I didn't know nothing, feel me? The one of the homies called me like, hey, nigga, you need to watch this nigga. This nigga cold. So I went and watched this shit. I'm like, okay, this nigga is nice. Nigga, this only like five days before the battle. So I'm like, fuck. So I started writing for the dude, you know what I'm saying? I came up with some cold shit in five days. I just couldn't get it out. You know what I'm saying? Like I and ever since then, like I ain't never, like, you know what I'm saying? Waited so like, cause before, I ain't gonna lie. I used to take this shit as a game. Like that's why, like now, I'm I'm super focused. That's why I'm so focused on saying all my next opponents. Cause like, the 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 focus is different. Before, like I used to always like, if I have a battle like two months, you know what I'm saying? I will wait to like three weeks before I start writing for the nigga. You know what I'm saying? Like two weeks, I write I write for like two weeks. Had a three rounds ready. Then I had that last week, you know what I'm saying, probably like, you know what I'm saying, um, memorizing and shit like that. Then it started getting closer and closer. I battled, I battled Clutch, you know what I'm saying. I, I wrote for Clutch in like fucking two weeks, you know what I'm saying. Start memorizing this shit like four days before the battle. Got up there and did the shit like flawless. So I'm like, okay, I could do it again. Went up against Geechee, the shit didn't work. It just didn't work out like how I wanted it to work out, you know what I'm saying? And ever since then, I'm like, fuck it, I got to kill something. And the homies was like, nigga, you got to kill bad. So, and it was in front of Norb. So, they like, nigga, you got to just take a, a body right now. So, I'm like, okay, fuck it, niggas. I got a money move for Jay Burner. Went out there, smoked that nigga. It was right after my um my PG had dropped, I think, something like that, around that same time and shit. So it was a money move win and smoked him real quick. I just took it because I knew it was gonna be I knew it was gonna be an easy win, honestly. Like then when I heard his name, I'm like, man, I could go go crazy with the name burner. I had name flips all three rounds for the nigga. You know what I'm saying? All type of haymakers for the nigga. This is an easy thirty. <laughs> you said it's an easy thirty? <laughs> that's the homie too. That's that's the homie too. That's my nigga. I fuck with Jay Burner after the battle. Like I, I talk to that nigga now. You know, so I talk to him today. But still, he know he got. He know he lost. <laughs> you know. I remember seeing the really comments. Cool. He was really trying to say. He was like, man, you know, I, I was putting in the word, man. I won that, and I'm like looking at the other comments, and niggas was just in there flaming them. I'm like, damn, was it that bad? Then when I finally went to watch the battle for myself, I was like, okay, okay. I see, I see, I see. Yeah, I was trying some. I had to try some new shit. Him, I tried to. I had a different approach when I battled him. Like, I punched way more. Like before, my style was different. Like, you know what I'm saying? I used to have like, well, I used to like have like a, a setups. Not not necessarily schemes, but I like set up like long setups that lead to a punch. You know what I'm saying? That shit wasn't really working out in like how I wanted it to work out. Like when I when I spit that shit like to the homies and shit, niggas like, oh that shit crazy. Cause everybody niggas that got minds and brains and understand bars, they catch every fucking line. They're like, oh my god, that shit crazy. But when you in front of a whole bunch of fucking drunk motherfuckers, high motherfuckers, like after like three four battles that went on, you know what I'm saying? Everybody ain't trying to listen like that. You know what I'm saying? So when I'm up there doing this shit, niggas like I was getting a lot of dry spots and shit like that. So I'm like, you know what, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to change my approach, you know what I'm saying? So now I'm like, I'm way more, like, punch-heavy back-to-back. Like, in the first battle, I really tried it in was like, I did it before. Like, when I first started battling, I was, like, back-to-back. But then I tried to, like, you know what, I'm going to switch it up. I want to be more, like, intellectual type shit. But that shit just wasn't working out for me. So now I'm, I'm back to the aggressive punchline, back-to-back, beating your ass style. You know what I'm saying? And I tried it against Jay Burner, and that shit was just crazy. So I'm like, you know what? I'm going to do everybody like that. Okay, okay, okay. So I want to ask you, man, what's your dream battle? Like, it don't fuck the name, fuck how, how high his name is or his brand is. Like, if you could get one battle, bruh, and you just want to cook this nigga, like, fuck it, you just want to body this nigga, who is that one person? Damn, man. <laughs> Damn, I don't want to say it. Hey, I don't want to say I want to fight you, nigga. I don't want to say I want to fight you. All right, look, when I when I when I first came out, when I first came out, before he was even big, you know what I'm saying? I was getting comparisons to Rum Nitty. You know what I'm saying? Before before he even battled B Magic, you know what I'm saying? I was getting comparisons to Rum Nitty. You know what I'm saying? Motherfuckers said we look alike. Motherfuckers said I sound like him. Even now, when, when I my, my uh, Ron Compton battle, I had a comment on there. Niggas say I'm I'm, I'm Rum Nitty's son and shit like that. So I'm like. I want to battle that nigga for sure. 
Like, and I know it ain't no easy motherfucking task because that nigga, goddamn, nigga's a killer. But, nigga, oh, man, I think my pen game is crazy enough to um, fucking match it. Like, I, I want to I take him and ass, to be honest. Like, I think them niggas with the, like, the punchline shit, them niggas is, like, the top niggas right now. B-Magic is my homie. I would never battle him. That's my nigga. You feel me? But I I take Rum Nitty and I take ass. Yeah, now, I definitely feel like you could go ahead and give, uh, see, I'm not, I don't want to shit on Nitty, but I really do feel like you could give him work, because I've seen battles with him where he almost writes too intricate sometimes where the crowd's right. not going right. to fuck with it, and on camera, you still not getting it, so I definitely feel like even if you had, like, say he came like how he was against uh, Av, I still think that you would give him a dope battle. I think that could still be a debatable kind of battle where it's like a preference thing. Like, if you like what he was saying, or you like what he was saying, because especially with a punch, like if you had two punches going against each other, it's just whose punch lines did you like more? Whose bars did you like more? You know what I'm saying? Because it's not like he's angle heavy or I think, he's I think, performance I think I heavy. More, you know what I'm saying? I think I, th- I think I could do more, more of my performance, more of my delivery and shit on that nigga, like, honestly. And I don't think he got really a flow like that either. He just he just be up there like like spitting sentences, you know what I'm saying? Then he stop, get a reaction, and then he spit another sentence. Like it ain't really flowing, you know what I'm saying? So it's like it's ways like you can beat that nigga. Like it's it's exploits in his shit. Like he he's punching. It. It's hard to really out bar the nigga, but it's exploits in his game that you can fucking you know what I'm saying? You can you can fucking take. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah. that's why I, I I look at motherfuckers and like I be like, what can I do? You know what I'm saying? That expose the motherfucking weakness. You know what I'm saying? I do now. Before, I was different. Before, I was like, it was just whatever. I didn't give a fuck. I just start writing shit. But now, like, I really, I know how to use angles on motherfuckers now. Like, I can take one motherfucking angle nigga and probably flip that motherfucker the, the whole round and come with, like, eight different haymakers about one fucking subject. You know what I'm saying? Like. Okay, okay, okay. I heard that. I heard that. 